Hey guys, back to a video. Today we got some uh, Hoover convertibles here. Um, they're very interesting. Don't mind me just watching my Basiac. Um, here they are. So this is a model U4315, and this is a model U4317. This is from 1982. This is from 1983. Uh, this is a 4.3 amp cleaner. Um, and I believe with tools, it's like seven and a half amps, 7.5, yeah. And then this one is a 4.8 amp cleaner, and it doesn't have the switch in it like this one, so it just stays that even when you put the tools on it. So this one, when you have tools on it, you're expected to leave it in upright, and I'll let y'all hear the difference between when it's upright and lower, so you can... Hear the um, wattage change. So here it is an upright. Slightly louder. So there's that one. And then the U4315. Oh, sounds the same upright. How you do this one sounds the same um when you take the hood off of this one it looks the same underneath as this just without the cap on so you can technically put this on there and this wouldn't fit on there because of the bumper and the way it's built but you know um both of their cord hooks are in touch and um are intact sorry and they're both there don't mind my dog. And so is this one. This one is a little bent, but I don't want to mess with it because I don't want to break it. Um, this does not have the original nut and bolt down here. This one does. But it does have the original one up here. Um, thanks to Kyle Crickbaum for fixing this. I'm not sure I pronounced his last name correct, but sorry. <laughs> but he cleaned this up and gave it to me. Sorry, but there it is. Still in good condition. I service it every once in a while. I'm not really servicing it because I barely use it, but when I do use it, it's usually a house deep clean. Because as you see, we got a dog, so it's always hairy and stuff. Um, I put an LED ink light in there, and it doesn't look much different. But it's so much brighter. Same with this one, I put one in there. And it's very, very bright, which is good. Um, I do not have tools, although I'm thinking about getting it because it'll fit both of them. Um, so yeah. This one, the zipper is broken so I can't show y'all, but it does take type A bags. Uh, this one takes your regular Hoover uh, bottom fill bags. Uh, type C or something bags. I don't know. Um, now we're going to flip them over. Let y'all see the underside. Lower them gently so I don't break anything. Um, they both have the same colored cords. Um, although the U4317 has a slightly longer cord. By like, I mean, probably three feet. But, I mean, they have the same plug and everything. Um, but here they are. I'll turn this on so y'all can see. Um, Alright, so. This one. Okay, this is the U4315. It originally had that brush on it. I know it's not the original one. But, it made. It sounded good. But then when I got this one, it had this brush roll in it with the beater bars. And it sounded just very loud and weird and not very sweet like a Hoover should. So what I did is I just swapped them and now they sound really good. Um, you see this runs very smooth. This brush roll does need a little bit of a breakdown and rebuild. But those brushes you can see are brand new. 
um, very stiff brushes, which is a good, um, not very much wiggle, which is also very good. Um, let's sit you guys down while I put this belt on there. This is a new belt, only because it broke recently. There we go. Alright. So that thing is pretty hard to get on. Um, they have the same looking base plate. But yeah, they're very, very similar vacuums because they're from almost the same year. It's just one year difference. I always thought this thing was 70s, but then I finally learned how to rate the date, the rating plate, whatever. I don't know. But I was the one that refurbished this. As you can see, there's barely any wear on these wheels. Because, yeah. So this thing didn't have a hard life. But it, okay, it didn't have a hard life. Okay, wait. It had a very hard life, but it was a very short life. There we go. Because it was disgusting, but as you can see from those wheels, and this fan is in such good condition. So at least they kept care of it. To <sighs> I just cannot talk today. But yeah, this is a new brush roll. I might get one. Another one. I don't know, but... I also like these because those are very stiff brushes. And it makes it sound really good. Um, yeah, like I said, this one's really smooth. This is a bit rusty, but I'm not really worried about that. Unless it affects the motor, but it doesn't, so... Not too worried about it. Um, again, I'll sit you guys down while I do this. Because this is also a new belt. There we go. Oh, I looped that on them. I hate it when I do that. There we go. Alright, so that's on correctly now. Nice and tight. You know they're tight when it doesn't vibrate. It just stays. It goes right back to where it was. Um, here's this blaze, bleh, base plate. I polished it a bit just to make it look better. When I first got it, it was all rusty, and I used some rust repellent spray and let it soak in that, and it got all that crud off. So there they are. They are both plastic-based models. I am going to try and get a metal-based one soon just to try and mix things up. But yeah, there's that. Ooh, hit my wide angle there. Well, actually, that's kind of nice. So... Does squeak a little bit. All right, so we'll use this one a little bit just so you guys can hear the difference in the motors. Um, this one does have a HEPA bag in it, like a HEPA Hoover Type A, um, but that one just has a paper bag in it. I mean, it's a couple layers, but you know, whatever. So this is a normal height so nice bright headlights a little hard to move but does a really good job at agitating and really brings back the pile to the carpet. And sounds very pleasant to the ears. So there it is. Um, all right, so there's that one. And then here's the U4315. to the carpet.
bonjour. Um, we'll also test it out on this carpet, which isn't worn out. So, let's go. Nice and smooth. And then we got um let's bring this one in, put it 